Hey YouTube, today I'm going to teach you how to do a cut ear makeup tutorial. If you want to learn how to do it, stay tuned. Here are the materials that you're going to need for this tutorial. First, you're going to need some scotch tape, a makeup brush. I'm going to go with a fine tipped brush just because I need to get into some of the smaller details in the ear area. Scar wax. A makeup palette. This one's good for bruises and abrasions. This one has some uh, lip color, black, and cinnamon. And you're going to need some fake blood. If you want, you can use liquid latex. In this tutorial, I'm not going to use any latex, but if you feel that you need it, go ahead. The first thing I'm going to do is rip off a small piece of scotch tape, and I'm going to apply it to my earlobe sort of like it's hanging down like an earring would. Now I'm going to fold my earlobe back as much as I can and I'm actually going to try to tape the earlobe to the back side of my ear. Try to press the tape down as much as you can so that uh, you can't see any of the tape hanging off. And the reason I chose scotch tape is because it's transparent. It doesn't show any color and it uh, doesn't affect the makeup overall. Now this makeup um, you might want to use for a short period of time just because you probably don't want to have your ear folded over for more than a few hours at a time. Now we're going to get to the second step of this tutorial and that is applying some scar wax to the bottom of the ear. As you can tell once you tape your earlobe back you're going to have some material missing in this area and that's where we're going to take advantage of that look. We're going to apply some scar wax to the bottom of that area and then we're going to texturize it and make it look like part of the ear is ripped off. For the second step I am going to apply some spirit gum to the area just to help the scar wax stick a little bit better. Give the spirit gum a few minutes to tack up and then you're going to apply your scar wax. Take a ball of scar wax and roll it out into a hot dog shape. Make sure that the shape of the scar wax is about the same diameter as your ear or the same thickness. Um, if you use a lot more material you might end up having to pull it away. So I'm going to start with a small piece and I'm going to press it to the spirit gum. You can add a few extra small pieces just for texture. And now you're going to give that a little bit of time to adhere to the spirit gum. The next step in this tutorial is to blend in your scar wax with your skin. So after your scar wax has adhered to the spirit gum, you're going to either use your finger or you can take a small tool like this. Um, you might have a makeup spatula or a small palette knife. Alright, now we're on to our next step. You're going to take your fine brush and you're going to start applying some makeup to the inner parts of the wound. Um, like I said before, if you have a makeup palette that's good for bruises and abrasions, that's usually what I go with. So I'm going to start with my darkest colors, which would either be like a brown or a plum, and then I'll move on to some reds.
Try to follow the contours of every cut. You want to make sure that the edges are the darkest color and as they move inward you want to blend with a lighter color like a red or a uh, skin color. Okay, so after you use your brush to add some makeup and create some dimension and depth in the wound, you're going to add fake blood and then you're done.